if you told me a year ago, this time last year, that I would be um, sitting here relying heavily on the amazing support of a charity like Hi, I never would have believed you, not in a million years. Because a year ago, I was a 30, see, gonna cry, sorry. <laughs> gonna struggle with this. <sighs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Because a year ago, I was a mum of three beautiful boys, a teacher, um, just going about my life, feeling completely healthy. I would never, ever have had a clue that ultimately it turns out I had or have stage four cancer. And I just, I never, never could have imagined it. In March this year, I got the diagnosis and changed my life forever. I felt something in my breast, but it wasn't a lump. I just felt different. So I went to have um, a mammogram. Um, it was a Friday night. Um, I went on my own because I just thought I was going for, for reassurance. I went straight to see the doctor, sat down, and he effectively said, you know, we found, we found something. It's probably breast cancer. You know, breast cancer is one of the most treatable cancers. So, you know, we're going to do an MRI and a CT and a bone scan and just kind of make sure it hasn't spread anywhere. And we'll go from there. Someone who's like so healthy, so well, never had anything like this. I was having all these scans. It was, it was a hell of a week. Um, and then went back on the Friday and I went in with my husband and my mum and, um, sat down and he said um he said it's it's already spread um to your liver and your bone and and my world just fell apart <laughs> that night was just i mean unimaginable, came home. Really hard to look at my children. Um, tuck them in that night. Um, you know, knowing that I probably won't get to see them grow up anymore. <laughs> I was feeling incredibly depressed, incredibly frightened, incredibly low. Being diagnosed during a pandemic meant that I had to do huge things on my own. Some angel told me about hi and I gave them a call and they were just amazing and particularly what was interesting to me and what really helped me was I hadn't yet told the children what was going on so the first service that I used through hi was speaking to one of the play therapists who told me how, how, to, how to tell the children my eldest son, I felt, was having a bit more of a struggle with things. He now comes to high and he goes for play therapy. Um, he does lovely artwork and kind of expresses himself through the artwork. I think for me, when I was going through the chemotherapy, every one that touched you, it was frightening and it was painful. When I came to high and I would have a treatment, it was like, oh yeah, it can not be painful and not be scary. And one of the best services for me at high was the hypnotherapy. Forward is, it's a different outlook now. I'm just really happy that I have the now. And whatever time I get with my family, I'm just, I guess I'm blessed to have that. I am a strong person and I'll continue to soldier on and fight as hard as I can. And to have Hi to help me and to help my family, even more importantly, um, is amazing.